the Yale School of Public Health was so impressed by a nine-year-old's efforts to eradicate those pesky and invasive landon flies from her uh, New Jersey community that they have now honored her in a ceremony. Bobby Wilson was presented with the title of Donor Scientist by the university's museum, and her personal lanternfly collection is now available for public viewing. The United States Department of Agriculture also awarded her with a certificate of appreciation. It's all a happy ending after Bobby originally had the cops called on her in October by a white neighbor who complained about a, quote, little black woman walking and spraying stuff. Joining me now is Bobby Wilson and her mother, Monique. Hi, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited to talk to you. First of all, talk about pesky. I mean, if only, Bobby, you were with me when that was all going down in October. I swear, I felt like I was stomping on those things left and right. And I kept wondering, isn't there a solution for things like this? But I guess you had one. And Yale now honoring you. I want to read for folks and remind you what Yale said about you because it's so freaking cool. Um, they said, Yale doesn't normally do anything like this. This is something unique to Bobby. We wanted to show her bravery and how inspiring she is. And we just want to make sure she continues to feel honored and loved by the Yale community. Bobby, how did you feel when you found out that Yale wanted to honor you like this? Um, I didn't think it was real at first because I was kind of really excited. You were excited. What about you, Mom? I was speechless. Um, I, I automatically I knew what it meant. And it just reconfirmed for me that Bobby really is a scientist. So I, I was excited, like Bobby said, and proud. Uh, Bobby, why did you want to stomp out these lantern flies? Like, what got you motivated initially to try and find a solution? Well, like, I always used to find them, like, on my shoulder or, like, on my shoes. And I didn't really, like, like them. So I decided to, find, like, look around and find like them on the floor, the trees. And Monique, did you think, okay, uh, let's do this. Let's see if it works. Let's figure it out. Were you supportive of her scientific endeavors? Well, I have no choice because I've been living with this for quite a few years. Bobby is quite the scientist around the house. <laughs> So for me, it was less about the, the solution and the chemicals and going. I was more about, okay, what, when are we going to fit this in with everything else? But um, I, would, I always support Bobby. We support her. You know, we want to make sure that she's free to dream and wonder and, you know, just be curious as a nine-year-old. I, I love that. I, I feel like I don't allow my kids to make potions enough, and I feel like I probably should now because I usually tell them to stop doing it. But I need to encourage them to make more potions. It just is so messy no. sometimes, Bobby. It's just so messy. When did you realize it was actually working, that your, your potion that you put together could actually help get rid of these things? Well, I was, I was spraying it, and when I was walking home, and I cut through the cemetery, and I was spraying it, and I realized they were, like, hopping off. So then I looked down my block, and I saw two trees and I started to spray them and then they started to jump off, but then I kind of knew. So Bobby, what's your next scientific experiment? What's your next potion that you're going to put together? How, how are you going to save the world, Bobby? Um, well, I have this thing at school, like where, where like after school we see it, the spider lantern flies, but we haven't seen them yet because it's winter and they usually die. But um, maybe I'm going to start a group that like kids can join and, and they can spray all the spotted lantern flies and like on the trees and on the shoes too. And maybe you should come up with a label to put on this potion that says Bobby's potion. So everybody knows what you're spraying was made by you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Monique, did you ask for early admission to Yale? Just wondering. I mean, she did get honored by well, Yale, you. So I imagine that's the well, next step. Well, you know, a mommy always has to ask that. I'm like, okay, why is her name here? And what are we doing for later? But yes, Yale has been very supportive. I haven't even had to ask. I, I do believe they're having conversations to make sure that somebody gets into Yale. Yeah, I think someone's <laughs> got a very big future. I can see it now. Bobby Wilson, we're going to be following you for a long time. They're going to take over the world. One lantern fly at a time. Thank you, Monique. You're a great mama, thank and thank you for joining her and bringing her to us. We appreciate it.